Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mike here, Mike's Weather Page. Time for your Wednesday YouTube tropical update. I uh, appreciate all the new subscribers on YouTube. If you could subscribe, it means a lot. We're trying to get our numbers up. Something new we're doing here. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. Tropics are kind of waking up. Talk, you know, talked about the slow start to the season. Environmental conditions are definitely still favorable, and we're seeing that. We have all this on the map here. We got Gaston. It's just going to kind of spin around the upper Atlantic. We got a new little yellow guy behind our Invest 98. I'm not going to worry about this one yet. This little guy is kind of going north, kind of weird, hugging the coast of Africa. This is the one we're watching, 98. We're going to go all into that here in a second. And then we got Fiona making a close pass to Bermuda. I'm going to touch on that here at the end. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to curve up. Nova Scotia there. I'll show you that. But uh, Invest 98, man. It's got everybody talking. Everybody talking. Here's the latest spaghetti models on Tropical Tidbits. Um, you know, history tells you anytime you get a system in the Western Caribbean this time of year, you got to watch it close. And that's what we're seeing with the models. Um, consistency is a slow bend north early next week. Slow development as it, as it does. Uh, we have Jamaica and the Caymans watching uh, over the weekend coming up. See how fast this develops. A uh, little bit of uh, Fiona's, uh, you know, messing up the steering patterns a little bit now, but an eventual uh, pull north we're going to see. So, yeah, it's something to really, really watch here, especially uh, eastern Gulf, Florida. Uh, models have not back down on this possibility these are your latest spaghetti models a couple things i'm noting here real quick here's what it looks like on weather nerds you know it's just a clump of clouds it's near in the lower lesser Antilles, trinidad tobago it's 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 unorganized but if you look at things like lower level winds you know it's got circulation and it's got a core and i'm sure this is what the nhc is looking at uh we have circulation at 500 700 850 it's very broad very weak uh, when you look at things like this, too, I look at the old school vorticity maps here. It's showing a clear uh, signature here that it's got, uh, you know, spinach. That's what we say here. So we got to watch it. You know, definitely. Uh, when he gets up here, we got to watch it. Um, some of the other spaghetti models out there, let's take a look at it. This is uh, another way to look, look a little farther down the road. You can see your uh, models are doing that turn. Got my eye on it. <laughs> one of the uh, one of the reasons it's doing this turn here, we got to look ahead into the future. We have a Tuesday cold front coming down. This is a week from Tuesday. This is the 27th. Um, been watching this a lot. There is a signature of a strong cold front coming down, and and you know this has been the year of the cold fronts. I talk about it all the time. Uh, this the reason we've had these cold fronts. I don't. No one knows why, but they've been lingering across that upper Gulf. Cold fronts steer uh, tropical systems to the north and to the northeast. And that's what we saw with Earl. We saw it with Fiona. Uh, and we saw Bermuda High pushed aside a little bit more this season. Uh, so we didn't have that typical Bermuda High setup. We're having our typical October style setup here where Caribbean needs to be watched. There's going to be uh, very low wind shear in the Caribbean uh, through the weekend. And, you know, we, um, hot water, all, all this stuff we've talked about before. But this is the steering connect. Uh, steering mechanism coming and it's this is tuesday front something to think about all right so i was looking at ensembles uh ensembles are a blend of models and it's hard to really get too wrapped up on individual runs right now you got to be careful worrying too much because they're going to flip flop around they're going to bounce around you know so six hours every six hours we get a new run and and, and it shifts you know we'll get a different landfall and it's really hard for models to predict landfall seven days out but you can look at these ensembles and really get a, a sense of trends and man this is pretty high confidence between the gfs and the euro here that uh we're going to see a general black line is the mean it's the average of the ensembles uh and they both po point in the florida west coast um you know we know models change this far out so we're going to start watching for any changes and wiggles and you know, a stronger system likely would get pulled up faster and pull more northeast. So, um, you know, the timing of this approaching front is everything. So, you know, the, there's an outside shot. This thing could actually hook up and maybe miss South Florida altogether. We've seen that before if they start trending that direction. So it, it's, 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 it's a lot to watch, you know, and uh, it's just seven days out. Remember, it's just too far for anybody to know. But, you know, we watch model trends, and this is the latest right here. Uh, individual model runs, I'll show them to you. 
uh, just to kind of keep it real. Uh, the, the one thing you want to look at uh, when you look at operational runs, this is on Tropical Tidbits, you're, we're seeing an expanding wind field indicating our system is growing. And, and with the Gulf of Mexico, we know it's explosive with uh, conditions. The water's hot, loop currents, loop eddies, light wind shear, MJO is phased. Uh, La Nina, I mean, everything's stacking up for this thing to really rapidly intensify. It is, it, it's, I can't professionally say it, but it probably will happen, uh, is my opinion. Remember, remember, nothing on my page is official. This is all, I'm just a weather blogger. <laughs> um, but the conditions are there. And the Euro, I mean, the GFS here is showing 930. I mean, a 920. But what we're seeing more than anything is an expanding wind field, meaning more people will be affected if this storm widens, which also means more wind shear or um, wind shear, storm surge. Uh, storm surge, the bigger the system, the more water it pushes. And, you know, uh, if this thing comes on the west coast of Florida, man, we're gonna, we could have some bad storm surge to, to worry about. A lot of, lot of low shelf, uh, you know, waters that really pushes this water up. So, you know, widening system really need to watch uh, for storm surge along with winds for sure. Um, but there's your latest G, uh, GFS. It's been bouncing around that Florida Panhandle, Florida West Coast. You know, Eastern Gulf uh, consistent in the last several, several, several runs. This is the 00Z. Um, you know, last night's 18Z uh, showed it's tr the websites are very slow today. I'm sure everybody in the world's on them. So I'm not even going to load too many of them up here uh, as they try to load. But the GFS has been everywhere from pretty much like that. I mean, very consistent the last five runs. Overnight Euro coming in a little bit lower, um, a little bit lower on the peninsula. And the travel tip is slow right now. I'm sure the whole world's on it. Um, I do have a graphic here. Let me pull this up. I guess we can pull this up since I'm, um, oh, here we go. It's coming up. Uh, here's the latest Euro. Let's see, the 60 just got done running. So let's pop it up here real quick. So the latest Euro, there you go. Developing system south of Jamaica on Sunday. Deepening pressures, pulling north, and the latest Euro a little bit more in the South Florida. So it's been bouncing around the Florida uh, West Coast also. So that's the trend that we're seeing. Um, very classic this time of year. And everybody's watching it. So, you know, like I said, I, I tend to look more at the um, ensembles at this point and just kind of get a general feel where they're trending. Um, but, yeah, this is definitely one to watch. I'm telling you. Um, we could be looking at a... A big problem next week for somebody along the Gulf if this pans out. So that's the latest. I just wanted to share the latest models. Uh, no big shifts overnight. Um, still looking at a possible, you know, strong hurricane developing the first part of next week. Timing still throughout the week, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, somewhere in that time frame of next week. Depending on, you know, if it turns up a little faster, it would hit South Florida a little quicker. You know, we could be Tuesday. If it, you know, takes its time in the Gulf, turns a little later, it could be Wednesday. If it hits the upper Gulf, it could be Thursday. So that's where we're at. So I'll be going live again at 919 Eastern. We'll do another one of these quickie little YouTubers later this afternoon once the afternoon models start to run. Every 12 hours, confidence starts to build. We get closer and closer, you know, to when the storm is actually going to impact. So we look forward to these 12-hour runs to start, you know, hoping to see either A, consistency uh, or any shifts. But we're seeing a consistent pattern. It's very um, common with this setup here usually in october but it's it's an october style system so all right that's it uh thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye